Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm. Pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. That's the sound of my stomach relaxing from all the holiday food. How about you? Yeah, I I need to go back to my normal diet. Yeah, yeah that's why that's why I have New Year's resolutions. Right after the time, I, I'm I don't even get on the scale anymore. It just says, you know what, air uh, air uh, yeah Give me an error code flow over run buffer <laughs> <Yeah>. air four oh four. All right, here we go. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum, the show that makes you go. Mm. Air date is December twenty sixth through January first. 2021. I'm Nathan Mum, and welcome to our show. We are live streaming in the studio, uh, always on Saturdays from 4 to 5 p.m. on YouTube and uh, Facebook. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash Tech Time Radio, you can see our live broadcast there that we do through StreamYard. And then if you go to facebook.com forward slash Tech Time Radio, you can see our beautiful faces there. <laughs> and if you're listening to a podcast or replay, uh, not on Saturdays. Make sure you go and visit techtimeradio.com to stay up on all the latest information. Our weekly hour technology show talks about current technology in a simple format without having to geek out. We highlight top tech news for the week along with segments that bring different perspective and highlighted topics. Today on the main segment, we are covering Facebook and Google's secret handshake that has been let out of the bag it is collusion between the companies against antitrust battles. Darn them guys. I know. And this, this is what they call it. The secret name is called Jedi Blue. Yeah, man. So we're going to talk about some little... Uh, we're going to do some Jedi stuff. We're going to talk about what the colors of the Jedi swords are because it makes very interesting that they actually chose Jedi Blue is just absolutely perfect for them. They probably did it because their company logos are both blue. And so it was like, yeah, we'll do Jedi. Probably. Blue. But, but, oh, there's some know, indications. Guess There's guess, some nerd lore there. Yeah, that, there's that some reasons out. that they chose that. And it's perfect <laughs> for them. Let me just tell you that. And we got collusion that goes all the way up to the CEO of Facebook. No way. Uh, oh, yes. Is absolutely. Mark? Oh, Mark's involved. Of Mark's course, involved? Of, of course Mark's involved. How, how could that happen? So he's more time where he gets to be in the Senate now then, I guess. He just, he's he, gonna, yeah, he's he, got that apartment there. He I'm wants telling, to make sure he I'm uses it, right? They just need to give him a permanent spot right there. All right. Now, if you have a technology question, make sure you jump on Twitter and do hashtag Tech Time Radio. We're having live in-show uh, interns and individuals look at questions. So if you have a question, you can always just hashtag Tech Time Radio on Twitter, and we'll try to get to that it, during the air. We're really excited to be announcing coming the beginning of New Year. We're going to actually have call-in segments, so you're going to be able to call in the show and ask questions for us starting. That next might year. be a bad idea. No, it's good. Yeah, it probably <laughs> is. But that's going to be perfect. We have a one eight eight number that you're going to be able to call in, and a four two five number that you're going to be able to call in and ask us live questions on the show. So. There's a couple people that I'll have to make sure David behind the board there just automatically crosses off. They'll be like, if this guy calls, no, absolutely. No, absolutely. Yeah. We're not putting him. I don't care what great question he th- says he has for you, David. No, we're not asking him. Um, and so if Craig McNabb and Jack Tarasevich are listening, yeah, we're not going to talk about fantasy <laughs> football because currently right now I am the winner in our little oh, league. My. I won last Wait, week. Wait, you're so. not supposed to use this as a... As a, a promo, brag. yeah. As a promo, so <laughs> a I wonder how they're doing. Fl- yeah, they didn't football. have very good. They didn't have a very good Christmas, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, at the end of the show, wow. Today, well, yeah. you're on today. Uh, huh? We're going for it, baby. <laughs> we got lots to do. All right, so we also want to make sure today uh, we will be giving away our two hundred and ninety nine dollar Pulse device from Vivomi. So it's an mm-hmm. after Christmas special. We have one through five hundred that you're going to have to come up with a uh, number for, and I have the list over here. So we're going to pick the person that is with that number, and we're not going to read their email off. On the yeah, air. that's a good thing. Yeah, because I, I learned last time to do that. Yeah. So, so no. we'll, we'll give it like a couple stars in there so people don't know exactly where to send it to. But, Mike, how what? we start out every show is with our loaded question let, of the let, day. So let's okay, start the what, show. What, what are we talking about today? Okay, and this is what it says, too, so I'm not making this up. What do you think is the president's email password? Our current <laughs> president, Trump. <laughs> that's, our, that's our loaded question of the day. What do you think his password is? It's all fake news. It's all <laughs> it's all fake news. Is that a capital with an yeah. exclamation part? It's it's, it's one T. Are you sure? It, yeah, it, one it, one T. All fake news. All fake news. Yeah. Uh, okay. Or or or, yeah. or what else could it be? 
me, 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 <laughs> I, I, or I, I, I'm still winning. <laughs> I'm still winning. <laughs> I'm still winning. Or I like playing golf. No. Okay. All right. Well, that's a very, <laughs> that's a very good email password. But as long as you make sure that he has it with capital, right? That's and where it, the number comes in. Uh, the number comes yeah. in. I, I, what, I'm and number fake, one. And fake news is always capitalized. It's so. all capitalized. Yeah. And then an exclamation point at the end. Cause you have to have sure, that special character. Special character yeah. yeah. How many people put exclamation points to? I do. All, all my passwords end with an exclamation point. So that's good to know. Well, yeah. Well, best of luck trying to figure out the rest of the stuff because it's it's stuff that I, that's not anything I, related I to me at all. I making up. Pa- I just use the auto generator now. Oh, yeah, okay, that's good. That's if you like have like a last pass, or, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Or they say to do something that you are completely not doing. So I remember like one year, my password is I like to get up and exercise. <laughs> Exclamation point! I knew <laughs> so, no, so no, no one, one would, would ever, ever guess that, that one me. out. That's correct. That's all right. No all one right. could use psychology on you. So we have whiskey tasting that we're going to be talking about after our first commercial break. We have some nice whiskey in here. We actually have enough left over, so the bottle isn't empty. We, I know. So that's, that's that seems kind of weird to me. Actually. I know that's because we did two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row of drinking the whole bottle. But first thing we got to do is we got to get started right away with our top stories in the first five minutes. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. All right, David, you got our timer ready to go. Perfect. All right. Story number one, Twitter will make Joe Biden's P-O-T-U-S, which is the president of the United States account, start with zero followers. That's, so that's a good idea. Rather than transferring them from the last administration, Biden is going to need to get new Twitter followers. <laughs> the, the Twitter plan wipes <laughs> out the following addresses. Um, it'll be a POTUS and the White House accounts as January 20th. When he gets sworn in, the accounts will immediately turn to zero followers. I think that's probably a safe choice. Well, uh, well it's, it's a little bit different because back in 2017, when the Trump administration took over the accounts from O'Biden, they or sorry, did they say Biden from you Obama. O- yeah, well, I, I'm excited about Biden. From Obama's administration, Twitter essentially duplicated the accounts and kept the existing followers there. Yeah, but we've all seen what happens in the last four years, so I so, think it's a good idea that they wipe the slate clean and start fresh. Start, start over. Twitter is worried yeah. about all the activity of people unsubscribing and subscribing at one account could cause the system to lock up. So I bet oh. you, my, my <laughs> guess is there's probably not... <laughs> Not a lot of people that I don't know about are, that. that that are gonna necessarily. If you're a fan of the current president, you may not necessarily be continuing your account with the new president, or vice versa, right? So yeah. So but tw- the best so part this is all about Twitter. Then this it is, has nothing to do with anything else. Though. Well, Twitter just wants to make sure their system doesn't go down with any crashes. Okay, I'm sure. move on because we got some really cool okay. Hey, so, so Twitter is going to freeze the account, and if you need to read more about it, you can go always to at potus. 45 and look back at all of Donald Trump's tweets. Yeah. Or you can always just subscribe to a real Donald Trump and continue to follow his craziness. Story number two. McDonald's has started po- putting cameras in dumpsters. Yeah. So now that you realize <laughs> you, that you can order a Big Mac and with a side of fries and ask not to be tracked. Now, let's get a little bit more into this. So yeah, a growing t- t- number t- t- of- Tell us why they're putting it in the dumpsters first. So because- McDonald's restaurants around the countries are finding that, that if they have decided to put cameras in the dumpsters on property and it's not for security reasons a san francisco based company called compology is a corporation that is specifically spending time to reduce ra- uh, waste and encourage recycling mm-hmm. so now let's listen to the ceo jason gates from compology explain what they're doing we use the most advanced machine learning techniques called neural networks we take pictures Three to five times a day, we track the fullness, the type of material going inside it, and when that container is serviced. The more images that we get of the inside of dumpsters, the more accurate we can be. The company's clients include McDonald's. Our restaurant managers receive a notification anytime we have an instance of a violation. So this technology really helps to educate our people in a very quick way. So that was uh, specifically in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Most of the McDonald's have all installed a camera that costs ten to twenty dollars a month mm-hmm. that sits inside the dumpster. Yep, takes pictures of 
yep. when they put trash in there. Yep. And then it alerts the manager of the store. Yeah, you don't think you don't think they're going to be monitoring uh, homeless people digging stuff out of their garbage? I th- I think there's a lot of purposes that have been put into this. <laughs> Absolutely. But if there's an incorrect garbage put into your garbage, this company will alert that store manager and tell them they have to remove the item from the garbage can. Just think if you're the, the manager, right? Well, that's some Big Brother stuff. Yeah, so you're, you're, sit, you're in there making fries, and you're a McDonald manager, and all of a sudden you get this little pitcher alert. Oh, your yeah. employee put a fry thing into the recycling cardboard area. Go take care <laughs> go of take it right care. now. And it sends the alert pitcher to it, and then they have to go out and correct yeah. it. Dude, but there's somebody stealing. There's somebody stealing some fries. <laughs> stealing couple, fries out of the... A couple old Big Macs that fell on the ground. Stop it. But what is actually happening is McDonald's is saving millions of dollars because this company, Compology, actually then will, once the garbage is full, send out the garbage truck instead of on a regular or weekly basis, only when the garbage when is full. at 90% full. So that's actually a pretty that's cool a thing. Good, that's a good, it, it's all good. It just has all these weird side effects. It does. <laughs> all right, story number three. All right, we're going to have to play this trailer, okay, from TikTok that we just got hot off the press. Listen to this, because this story is all finger-looking good. Oh, my God. The reason mankind didn't peak with the discovery of fire or the invention of the wheel. It's a feeling inside all of us that compels us to go further, reach higher, and dream of ways to achieve the unachievable. When the odds are stacked against us and it seems like the entire world wants to tell us no, that's not possible. Surely that can't be done. And we look up to the stars and say, just watch me. Because we know that rules are made to be broken. We know that dreams are made to be followed. That the impossible is made to be possible. And that gaming consoles are made to evolve. Welcome to the next level in gaming innovation, the KF console. (laughs) (laughs) Now you think this? All right, so great, we we got it in. We got it in. in. All right, we got the story in. Perfect. Thank goodness. All right, so here's our Colonel Sanders. So you're going to listen to this, and you're going to think that we're actually uh, giving you a a joke, and that is not even the case. This is not a joke. This is not the joke. The KF console is real. And it boosts one big advantage over the PS5 and Xbox Series <laughs> X. So if you got one of those this holiday season, you you're, suck. You do not. You did not get the console that needs to be t- taken care of. Out. So you can go to coolmaster.com forward slash KFC console, and our buddy the Colonel Sanders is releasing what was a joke six months ago. Yeah, tell us what it does. And this this is a winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> the KF <laughs> the KF console is here. <laughs> And it finally solves a problem that literally no one cared about until now. How to keep your chicken warm while gaming. (laughs) While gaming. (laughs) Yes. So the KFC console created in partnership with PC hardware manufacturer Cool Masters, which is a legit, all these are legit Uh, companies. I know. And they promise to shake up the console world like a bag of 11 herbs and spices has a built-in chicken chamber (laughs) for the world's first gaming console. It means the days of stomaching lukewarm poultry are no longer an issue. When you can take a slightly cold piece of a thigh and thankful by the time you're done gaming, it'll be nice and warm and crisp. Oh, yeah. It was teased back in June. Demand, strangely, they had over a million people sign up to learn more about this console. And what happened is um, KFC completely did this as a gag joke, right? Because all the console worlds were coming on out and they were just trying to be funny about it. What ended up happening is they have sponsors and they had the main companies. Listen, who has uh, done a deal with them? Intel is guaranteeing an i9 I9 processor in this box. A one terabyte Seagate uh, fast hard drive, so solid state. State of the art video card from NVIDIA. (laughs) And they have Cool Masters working on a console that essentially gets so hot because the gaming consoles get hot for PC uh-huh. that it disperses the air up. That's into what a, keeps your chicken warm. That's what keeps your chicken warm because there's a chamber in there for your KFC chicken. I, I can't wait, because, but there's a problem. What's that? If I have my chicken in my console, I can't play my game because my... Controller's going to slip out of my hands. Well, they said they, so. So there's a lot <laughs> of going to come with. Let me just naps? tell you this. This is the hottest <laughs> thing on Reddit, and they said that they have a whole bunch of of 
thought for that because they know that you could have barbecue chicken and different, oh my gosh. different chicken that could be there. So they are working on a console controller that is specifically designed to have food on there so it can easily be wiped off. This is this they is just crazy. Pr- they just need to provide wet naps with it. Oh, wet naps. They, they were the first. Remember the wet and the spork. Yeah. Like Kentucky Fried Chicken created right. the spork. All right. So, so that is our five minutes. That's, our time. That's what I need. Uh, I need a chicken. A chicken console. Chicken console. It's the K. The it's the, the KF K, console. The Kentucky Fried console. <laughs> wow. <laughs> KC the KF console. Who who thought that Kentucky Fried Chicken would get into the computer business? I don't know, but it certainly is funny. It is funny. <laughs> Do you know what? As soon as it comes pre order, I know you're going to get. I'm going to get it because I spent a lot of time with my other gadgets and gear stuff that came in for the holidays. So right now, though, we. Need to take a break. When we come on back, we're going to be talking about our whiskey because it's. we want to make sure we talk about that. And we'll be doing our tasting. We also have our favorite subject called Protect Yourself Today, uh, where we talk about all the cybercrime, breaches, and ransomware. So we want to make sure that you have that. And, of course, you're going to want to stay for our main segment talking about Facebook and Google mm. and Jedi Blue. Jedi Blue. Okay. So we're going to go take a break. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. We'll see you right after this. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data right at your fingertips and with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. The new Pulse device from Vivomi continuously tracks your EKG and displays this data on your mobile phone. Have you ever wondered how your EKG and heart rate behaves when you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or just getting the kids ready for school or relaxing at home? The Pulse is a different kind of wearable. And you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, the show that takes a positive, forward-looking approach to mid to late career transitions for Gen Xers and Boomers every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock Pacific. Whether you're looking to stay in the traditional workforce, do your own thing, or retire or semi-retire, Reigniting You is your source for career transition advice, inspiration, and insight for what's next in your career and life. Join me Wednesdays at 3 o'clock to get re-energized, recharged, and reignited. With Advil, you have power over pain, so the whole world looks different. The unbeatable strength of Advil. What pain? Well, Mike, during the break, we got to sample our whiskey pick of the day for the show, and we have chosen the Bullet Small Batch 95 Rye American Whiskey. Mm -hmm. So the Bullet Mm -hmm. Small Batch Rye is 90 proof, $39 bottle, a little bit uh, larger bottle than you uh, got for the uh, uh, last two shows where we had the Kings County. Yep. It was, listen to this, the Bullet Heritage traces back to 1830. When a tavern keeper, Augusta Bullet, and it's B-U-L-L-E-I-T, so it's not like a bullet, like a bullet. Bullet. Yeah, bullet. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but they call it Bullet. The Bullet Bourbon began as a market whiskey, and essentially they had the um, barrels transported from New Orleans up to their refinery and make sure that they could start their process, which includes having the water sit in the whiskey barrels for over 90 days. So the water just sits in there that they're going to use in the whiskey barrels. In 1987, Tom Bullet reviewed the brand and took his great-grandfather's name, and now we have it, into taste. So it's it's phenomenal. It's a 95% uh, frontier whiskey, and it's got a 5% malted barley mix into it. Yeah, it's got a very sharp, bitter taste. It does, but I, I don't have an afterburn, though. Are you getting I, an afterburn at all? Not really. I got, I, I, I got a little bit of a, a, a burn, but... They say the key to this is to leave it out and let it aerate, and put, if you had ideally uh, one or two um, cubes of ice in there, then it would let it kind of melt into it. I and, think that would be a... And then that's what they say yeah. is the best way to have this served. That so. or a chaser. Yep. All right. So up next, we have, of course, your favorite section, and we like to well, call this... Uh, my prote- drinking game. Your Protect Yourself Today. <laughs> protect Yourself Today. Protect Yourself Today is a five-minute rundown of the weekly technology breaches or business compromises across the globe. Let's start with story number one. Police dismantle cybercrime bulletproof. Is this kind of, we got bullets, our yeah. uh, whiskey. Bulletproof hosting service as authorities shut down VPN that supported illegal operations. Now, we talked about VPN service. If you use a VPN service, there's only one to use. 
Otherwise, I won't say what I said last show where I said otherwise you should be shot in the head. And I guess that wasn't very appropriate. So I don't want to shoot anybody in the head. Absolutely not. Yeah. But if you okay. don't have NordVPN as a VPN service, you're using any one of these other uh, VPN services, well, you're not being protected. You can't use Bulletproof. And you can't use Bulletproof because if you were using them, guess what? It's they, gone. They, they, they are no longer there because they were actually compromising and selling illegal stuff on there. So let's talk about the FBI, Europol, and law enforcement agencies shut down a virtual private networking uh, last Tuesday as it was providing hosting services that allowed criminals to conduct a variety of illegal operations, including ransomware attacks, while remaining hidden from the police. Essentially, the site's VPN called safeinet.org, safeinet.com, and safeinet.net. So they bought all three of their big names, all of which were a part of the bulletproof hosting service. The U.S. Department of Justice reported that it was officially shut down. So they shut down the VPN system or just those so they shut down the vpn system that was running on those three sites so okay. those three sites you would go to to sign up and create an account on and then you would use that vpn service so they shut down the vpn service and access to the sites to register for that vpn product itself gotcha these services were designated to facilitate uninterrupted online criminal activity along with The 250-plus companies that were using it worldwide were being spied on by the criminals using the VPN. No way. So we talked about that. So essentially, when you load a VPN or any application onto your system and you give people access to your computer or you give them access to any of your devices that you're using, you need to know what companies those are and what type of safeties they have in place. Because if you're a consumer here and you went out and you said, you know what, I need to protect my computer, so I'm going to have a VPN service that's available there and have it all taken care of and be safe, essentially what you did when you downloaded the client for this service is at safeinet.net, safeinet.com, safeinet.org, You are allowing people to have full access of your computer. And when you would sit there dormant and no longer use the computer, they would end up taking control and looking through your unwanted information. So they could open up your email. They could open up your documents. They could copy files down and then blackmail you months later. It's basically your babysitter going through your underwear drawer. That's... Oh, raw. Okay. I, I never had that analogy of all the analogies. Yeah, but it's it's kind of that or, or it's having... Uh, um, somebody come on in and, and take a look at everything that you've done on your taxes, I guess, for like a business, right? Yeah. So unless you have an independent auditor that you bring in to do the work, somebody else was taking a look at the information that you had. So people, ag- man, again, you many of these services, you got to be careful about these services because these services are not there to protect you. Um, these companies are now shut down. So those people are now complaining because they paid for their monthly service and their yearly packages and they want to get that money back. So listen, you were compromised. You signed up for a bad VPN service and now if you're complaining about the $69 that you want back from your yearly service, pretty much forget about it. You should be a little bit smarter and make sure that you use a VPN service. Is that how much it was? 69 bucks? It was like 69 bucks for a year. Wow. All right. Story number two. You pay F- what you paid for, right? Uh, some of the ones that are free, don't ever do a free VPN service. If it says it's free, then that means they're tracking everything that you got. So do not do that. Dang it. All right. I've F- got a lot of work to do. Uh, you, you and your antivirus software you got to remove on your computer, too. <laughs> That's right. You keep giving me crap. Uh, all right. That. So speaking of that, uh, FBI warns of COVID-19 vaccine fraud schemes. So this should be a no-brainer. No-brainer. But no, we're going to find out what we got. Fraudsters attempt to steal money and personal information, a potential surge in organized crime activity tied to the COVID-19 vaccinations are out. Yeah. The alert followed a recent uh, report of spikes in alleged cyber attacks by suspected North Korean hackers against company working on vaccines and treatment. According to the Federal Trade Commission, well over 275 million Americans have reportedly or have reported financial losses over this two hundred and eleven million dollar scheme for COVID nineteen related items. You said two hundred and thirty five million? Yes. Two hundred and eleven million. Oh, two hundred and eleven million. Two hundred and eleven million. I didn't mean to add more million. Sorry, two hundred and eleven million dollars have been scammed through COVID nineteen related schemes. See, that's taking advantage of people's fears, man. That's all that is. Two hundred and eleven million dollars. People have paid money. Yeah. To, to so now the big thing is saying that you could pay with a Google Play card. Now, listen. If someone's telling you that you can sign up and skip ahead to receive the vaccination and no longer be on the waiting list for yeah. a vaccination, and you can get Google Play cards, an iTunes card, or a PayPal transfer to move up on the list, 
guess what? That's like buying your way into heaven. Yes, that's not going to happen. So if you're thinking that that is how you're actually going to get your COVID-19 vaccination shot, then you're going to add more to that $211 million that are sitting out there. It's fear. That's all it is. I I just cannot believe that that happens. But speaking about being in heaven and and hell, somebody was in a little bit of some Facebook hell this week, and they had their account suspended, (laughs) didn't they? (laughs) What happened there, Mike? Well, you know, if you violate their community standards, you get banned for 24 hours. (laughs) For 24 hours. You know what? I've never been banned. As much as I bass on Facebook, I figured that I I would get in trouble, but you were actually banned from Facebook. I was trying to explain what somebody was doing was with, doing with boundaries you uh-huh. know i was trying to explain boundaries and this guy was using it the wrong way and i said if you if you continue to do that you're going to look like a something these uh, an a s and maybe another yeah. word okay yeah a s exclamation point and it didn't it wouldn't let me post it facebook and, got you in trouble and they got me so i changed the word and they did it so it's the way the word was they they Being used yeah oh. i said instead of so I was bullying the guy. So you were bullying the guy? Instead of telling them what, what was going the on? consequence was, I was bullying him. Wow. So I kicked uh, off for 24 hours. That's amazing. I loved it when you sent me that screenshot. I just yeah. laughed forever. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go take another commercial break. Up next, though, we're going to have a technology look at the Insider Edition where we're going to be talking about Facebook again and Google. And last week, about uh, we talked about how Apple was working with the European Union and regulation. Now we have Facebook, who was fighting Apple. Now doing a backyard handshake with Google about advertising. So these guys either need to quit being so slimy they're, they're or all, they need to not get caught. they're all going to be slimy. That's what business is, man, is all right. slime. It is. We're going to go to commercial break right now. I'm Nathan Mum. we got Mike Gorday here, David behind the board. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service and the brand names you know and trust, such as Steel, Scott's, Miracle Grow, Toro, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Yeti, Traeger, Weber, Big Green Egg, Clark and Kensington Paint, Magnolia Paint by Joanna Gaines, Benjamin Moore Paint, Duracell Automotive Keys, and many, many more. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Lake Stevens, Evergreen Way in Everett, and now Stanwood. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Nowadays, you do more from home than ever before. The Xfinity My Account app puts you in control with digital tools that give you the help you need when you need it. Get fast and easy answers with personalized help 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Change your Wi-Fi password to a phrase that's easy to remember. Even troubleshoot your services on your own. We're working to make things a little easier for everyone. Download the Xfinity My Account app today. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. We're about to, neg- ne- to navigate. Yeah, don't. navigate into our segment <laughs> called Technology Insider. I just had that shot of whiskey. I know. There, don't, huh? don't don't suck air into your teeth after you taste it because it it completely wipes out. It completely wipes out the taste. Yeah. Or, or it got a got a quick burn from that from that weird. second shot. Yeah, it was weird. Oh, so it may, maybe that's a new uh, way to do whiskey. Maybe you can create a new way to t- maybe to I don't know. It. Maybe you sample it and then you bring in an air real quick through your teeth. Yeah. And, okay. There don't you. do that. Okay. <laughs> we won't do that. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Facebook, you dirty devil. We're going to start out with our technology <laughs> insider. To technology right now. insider. We get the information directly from the source. Uh, this right. is my revenge on Facebook for banning me. No, uh, no. This is <laughs> we actually had this planned a little bit ahead of time. Uh, All right. So Facebook agreed to team up against possible antitrust action in a drafted lawsuit that says, end quote, Facebook's Sandberg saying that we need to make a pact with Google that is considered a big deal strategically. Yeah, why is that? Now tell us why. So let's talk about. So we got this handshake deal is a bad thing. Okay, so let's talk about. We got Google. Google owns essentially all the search and advertising across the globe for companies, Mm -hmm. except for Facebook has its own advertising within their platform itself. Right. That's what drives. That's what drives. That's what Facebook gets their profits off. That's correct. They don't get it off of us sharing and liking anything that's available. No, they they get it off the. Ads that they run. That correct. So essentially, did you know that Facebook buys millions of dollars of ad revenue from Google itself? Also, 
that wouldn't be a surprise. So, and, and then essentially, Google gives Facebook some real premium pricing for that ad time that's probably not the same pricing available to anybody else. Right. Okay. Bulk. Buy in bulk. That's buy right? in bulk. Or you have a handshake deal. So let's talk let's, about let's this. Talk. <laughs> Facebook and Google made a pact to cooperate and assist one another if their deal uh, to work together online advertisement ever came to light and they were faced with an antitrust action citing a draft version of the lawsuit filed against Google by 10 states. So there's uh, there's a yeah, here, here's so the funny part. Wait, tell us who the tell us who the lead state is. Okay, so we'll get to there. But so okay. this is what we got going on. Facebook and Google made an agreement. Yeah. That hey, we have this special pricing for our discounts of our you scratch advertising. Your back. And we'll scratch, scratch ours. My you back, you can advertise on, on Facebook, and Google will help, and Google go to Facebook and tell people to advertise. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, Facebook, you need to buy advertising on web searches from Google so that we can go back and forth. So they have a handshake price, a handshake deal, and then they came up with the idea to make sure that they were all cooperating together in case this deal ever came on up as an antitrust. An- antitrust. Antitrust. So we got 10 states that have decided to file a suit against Google. Now, it's very funny because this state essentially is stealing all of the companies from California, yeah, and this is Texas. <laughs> Texas, well, wasn't ta- that funny? So we <laughs> talked about them last week, so make sure you go back to our show because yeah. last week we talked about Texas taking all... I guess they couldn't convince Google to come in there, so they're... They're going right they're after going them. right after That's them. exactly. Texas is leading the charge among these states, suing Google, alleging it overcharged publishers for ads and cut a deal with Facebook to curtain their competition at a higher price. Mm -hmm. Big tech's powers keep getting being put to the test and Google has faced three lawsuits recently. So you got Facebook and Google that are being sued up the the word that you got banned from Facebook for saying. So let me no, just No, I didn't you get that. banned for the word. I got banned for how I, u- how how I you used said it. it. Well, if yeah. I probably wrote that on Facebook, I'm sure I'd be banned for that for yeah, 24 maybe, hours, maybe 48 I see hours. A lot of, I see a lot of stuff, but, you know, hey. So both of the internet giants are disputing these new allegations. No way. Yes, yeah, so they're saying that this didn't happen. But you know what? Let's take a look at our- That's why it's called a handshake deal. That's a handshake. Our New York State Attorney General, Letitia James, has some comments to say about this. All right, let's listen to her. By using its vast troves of data and money, Facebook has squashed or hindered what the company perceived as potential threats. They've reduced choices for consumers. They stifled innovation. And they degraded privacy protections for millions of Americans. I'm sure Boy, I, she's she's pretty hot on it too. She's she's right on top of that. Too, that was released, and we appreciate our New York State Attorney General for going right to the point. <laughs> Some people are a little nice about it, and she said, "Forget she's, you. Uh, I'm in New York. Let me just tell you, we tell it the way it is here. Right. So you guys are just." Doing this. So essentially, the suit is filed citing internal company documents that were heavily redacted. The New York. <laughs> what was so we'll find out which words were redacted from this, too. I know exactly what. I know. Words. This is hilarious. Okay. The Wall Street Journal reviewed part of the recent draft version of the suit with the redactions, which elaborated on finding and allegations in court documents. Ten Republican attorneys led by Texas are alleging that the two companies cut a deal in September of 2018 in which Facebook agreed not to compete with Google's online advertising tools in return for special treatment yeah. when it's used by that's, when they use them. But that's business, right? So is it wrong or is it right? Because because that's how businesses work by collaborating with each other. It, if you do is. this, I'll do that. It's the same way politicians do everything too. It is so kind of the I'm same sort of, way, right? I'm so sort of playing devil's advocate. So are you starting to think that maybe that they, we shouldn't be coming after these two and no, maybe they're I, the good I don't, people? No, I don't, I I I'm playing devil's advocate. Okay, you're playing devil's advocate. Well, I agree that you should absolutely, you, you can make deals with certain people. Certain people that do sponsorship prices on Tech Time Radio get different deals than other yeah. people. I mean, that's just that's, just normal. That's, that's, that's part of business. That's part of business. But when you're getting into the millions and billions of dollars and the, you say that you're going to do a handshake to say if anybody comes after us. That's we'll, right. That's we'll both problem, lawyer, right? We'll both lawyer up together with the same lawyer so that we can say that we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Then I think that's, that's a problem. Yeah. If you're open about it and said, heck yeah, I did it. Here's what we did. Here's the prices we gave to them. Then you know what? There probably wouldn't be a lawsuit. But, right. But you do it's a little handshake the in, the, in the little smoking room in the back of the area alley, and all of a sudden, then we're in a little bit different situation. Yeah, those hand, those, that's why the handshake deal is such a 
problem. Problem. So Google used <laughs> language from Star Wars. So this is where it gets really geeky too. All right. As a code name for the deal, according to the lawsuit with uh, redacted information, the draft version of the suit said it's known as Jedi, Jedi Blue. Blue. So Jedi Blue. So let's guess. Do you know what? The colors of the Jedi sword are so. There's like well, oh, how, how there's, so. Deep, I went how to the deep. Do you want to go into this? So we're gonna go into. We're gonna take okay. a look at what the actual blue lightsaber means. So they called it Jedi Blue. Right. All right. So I went and I googled lightsaber colors. Let me tell you, there's like 50 people that have websites on this that have just this, read all yeah, the books. Is, that, yeah. That, that it's like a a whole religion just on. Star Wars Jedi colors for lightsabers. Let me tell you, absolutely. And, and there's, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of lore that goes with this that's created just because you know why the originals were the way they were, right? So I mean, it's all so, about like because they the, would show they show up on screen differently. Yes, that's, that, how, that's the only there, there was nothing. Why. Yeah, Lucas when he first planned this out did not plan it was just red and Darth Vader had red because he's a bad guy and then right. he had the yeah. green and blues and a bunch of different well, yeah, colors. The first movie there. was all blue. So. Yeah. So let's talk about it. So, red is considered the bad guys, right? Yep, that is but the Sith weapon. Who is the most famous Force user and the first to ever wield a blue lightsaber? It is Anakin Skywalker. Well, he wasn't the first. Well, oh, but he he, he and the he, first in the movies. In the so first far, movies, yeah. I haven't read all the books yet. So, I, so, so you know what? If the books say that there is other the, people that the, had blue, the, the lore the lore here is crazy. So okay. you you got to really delve into this because blue and green are the most uh, common colors, but there's all kinds of different colors. And green's pretty things. common good. Green means you're kind of good. Yeah, you're you're so always you and you like and, and you like they, nature. Yeah, and they rep well. They represent two styles of the Jedi, right? The blue represents the guardian, and the green represents the counselor. Okay. And the guardian. Here's the interesting piece. The guardian is uh, one of their things is um solidarity. Solidarity. <laughs> So, so it is solidarity. Yep, and, and uniformity. And and of course, the first the, of the movies, we got Anakin Skywalker, who essentially becomes Darth Vader, right? Which is considered like the most the the worst of all uh, villains. He's in the, he's the best villain he's ever. The, the best villain ever. The the most renowned villain in That's any right. geek lore. Everybody knows who Darth Vader is. Right. So essentially, they chose blue, which is perfectly fitting for Google and Facebook because they're so trying, trying to be. To, what are you trying to say, Nathan? They're uh, going to turn into Darth Vader. Uh, oh, they are. They're close <laughs> to being Darth Vader. Exactly. They're trying to pretend that they're this good person, and they may have been good at first, but as you they're think they have turning, conversations like, uh, come to the dark side. We have cookies. Well, I'm. Sure, I'm sure that they uh, are both on the dark side now to begin with. So the draft version <laughs> spells out some of the. <laughs> Uh, That's what they really think. I, I, I think they're uh, I think they're turning red right now as they, we speak. They're... All right, so that they have taken the contracts and they've looked at the redacted version. And the redacted contracts essentially remove twenty times uh, the word antitrust. <laughs> so, <laughs> so essentially, they, in all of their conversations, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. They were specifically talking about antitrust allegations, and so they've right. removed that in the documents that they provided uh, oh, of course yeah, uh, of that so it's been taken care of now a google spokesperson said such agreements of antitrust threats are extremely common so now all of a sudden the first the google so it's interesting google says that these are common and essentially facebook is going to say that none of this even happened so oh. it's, it's very so google says so it's common. who's the more dark side of the two <laughs> and the state's claims are inaccurate we don't manipulate the actions the spokesperson said adding that the deal wasn't secret and that facebook participates in other ad uh opportunities as well there's nothing exclusive about facebook's involvement and they don't receive data that is not similarly made available to every other buyer that's what google says mm-hmm now, Miss Sandberg signed the deal with Google. She works for uh, Facebook. The draft version also cites an email where she told CEO Mark Zuckerberg and other executive that this is a big deal strategically. Strategically. That's the key word. Like Google and Facebook, they also, like Google, Facebook has also uh, said that the allegations aren't necessarily true. And they specifically declined to comment on this. So Google says, yeah, you know what? We're not really doing anything different to Facebook. And then Facebook says, we're not going to have any we're, information to tell yeah, you. We don't have any comment. Yeah. What is I that? Mean, what, I, what would you expect them to do, really? 
Well, you know what? So I, I keep on going back to, you know, I it, worked at Microsoft and we were like antitrust <laughs> and we used to beat up on everybody back in the day too. But the things that, that Facebook does though, man, Facebook every, is over. I don't know. Yeah, but every one of these every one of these companies has to try and exist by itself. And the way you exist by itself is by crushing everybody else. So it's a natural byproduct of, of So why doesn't business? Facebook admit that they had this whole information? Oh, Google said they did. So Google says, okay, yeah, you know, we kind of did this. We had it's this. image engineering. They, they want to maintain an image. But it's like, you know, when you take the fifth, what does that usually mean? It normally means that you're guilty. It usually means it, well. It doesn't mean you're guilty. It just means you look guilty. You look guilty, and you don't want to continue to to continue to right. say anything I, that I could in, to, yeah, I endanger not yourself. To incriminate myself, yeah. so I'm not going to say anything. So that is our great story regarding Google and Facebook. I I don't know. So I, I again, like I said, <laughs> Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft was it? They're becoming the red Bad Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, Bad they're, Jedi. Yeah, they're becoming like the Jedi Fallen or any of these other Star I, Wars thing. We're going to. I would you. really like to hear the conversation that that led to that discussion about Jedi blue because yeah. that that seems like a very odd color no nah, just a just a very odd way of identifying something that that on the surface doesn't look really good yeah why, well, yeah why why what's why with code why, why, why do you put a code name in that at all just call it we'll, we will work together in antitrust stuff yeah. and it'd be much easier Jedi than, Jedi blue antitrust. I don't well, know. I, I, and I know way more about Star Wars swords and colors now than I ever wanted to do about yellow and green. Oh, and, it's crazy. And, how, and black yeah. now. Black's big with the Mandalorian, right? Oh, yeah, so the you, black saber. That's... And you watched the, the season finale of Mandalorian, right? Oh, of course. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was, well, aside from the aside from the weird Uncanny Valley stuff on on the one particular guy, for those of you who haven't seen it yet. <laughs> the re-imaging of the one guy, they made him look much younger. Yeah. Luke Skywalker. We don't, oh, we don't, boy, we, you just went there. We, we didn't want, oh, uh, sorry, we don't want to have any spoilers. 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 <laughs> so when Luke comes on in and he starts killing all the drones and everything, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. So right. if you haven't watched but, if you haven't watched The Mandalorian now, you're, you're toast. And so, yeah, thanks, Nathan. Get you're, ready for the book, of, a, the book of Boba Fett, right? I'm just going to write a comment in Facebook and get banned. About you. About now. me? Yeah. You're gonna say stop I'm, being a... Stop so being a... An A-S, <laughs> whatever. A-S. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time for us to take a commercial break. Our sponsors <laughs> okay. are waiting, and so is everybody else. So we are going to take a commercial break. I'm Nathan Mum. Um, when we get back, we still have Mike's mesmerizing moments. Uh, we got some recaps that we're going to do, and, and we'll, we're gonna, we're kind of up in the air on if we're going to play the Mike song or not, not Mike song. No, we we're not going to play the Mike song. We don't think we're no. going to play the Mike song. We did a, an ode to 2020, no, and no, no, we no, ended no. up thinking it was really funny, Saturday Night Live-like, right? Yeah, and was, then all of a sudden we started listening to it. That was one of those things that was nice at the time, but at our production in meeting, retrospect, it yeah, was probably, uh, probably not the yeah, most no. uplifting <laughs> item that we have. And we also are going to be opening up our mailbag because we have someone in that <laughs> we has... Got kinda, mail. We got mail. We got mail at the, the radio studio. Station. At the radio station. So we're excited about that. We'll see you right after the commercial break. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, have you heard of cookies for breakfast? Uh, no, I'm a life cereal guy. Oh, that's right. Mikey likes it, huh? Yeah, no. All right, well, let me tell you about Cookies for Breakfast by Spark Tabor, the Pursuit of Pleasure podcast. This is one of the most up-and-coming comedians, and he hosts his own podcast. You know what? To me, he's a superhero. I am here. Did someone say breakfast? Who the heck is this guy? Captain Cookie here, and I love cookies for breakfast because there is nothing better than cookies and pleasure. I, I suddenly, I'm suddenly feeling a little lactose intolerant. Okay, thank you, Warner Brother superhero. No, okay, well, let me talk to you about Cookies for Breakfast by Spark Tabor, a pursuit of pleasure podcast. This comedian is hilarious. You know what? He is considered in my book a superhero. And now we're going to turn it over to the sidekick, Soy Milk. Well, hi there. If you'd like to join Nathan and Mike in listening to Cookies for Breakfast, go to anchor.fm forward slash spark dash tabor or the sparktabor.com forward slash podcast. That's spark, like S-P-A-R-K, and tabor, T-A-B-O-R. Wow, that is great. Now, if we only could have cookies for lunch 
Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get an efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. Whatever you do, don't drink whiskey and suck in through your teeth. That is the worst That's idea the worst ever. ever. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. Mike, during the break, what did you think about our whiskey? You know, I like the I like the taste. I don't like the don't don't suck in the air. Don't suck in the air thing. That, no, that, that, that really is a weird, odd deal thing. I know, isn't it? It makes it it makes it just go. Hashtag crazy. suck in air whiskey. Well, that's, yeah. That should be the, the, your new tag right now. Every single time you tr- yeah, take so a whiskey, when you take admit- whiskey, don't go. Because man, it it really drives that thing. Okay, crazy. so you know what? We, it, it, we received mail at the studio. Yeah, this is our first. This, this is, is our, our first, first item that we've gotten. So you know what? We, we got Doug Sharp from Vashon uh, Island uh-huh. over here. He decided to send us the. Political, bizarre, hilarious, AI-generated mashup of the Grinch. It was the night before Christmas in news articles regarding Amazon's inhumane treatment of its workers. Oh, so no. So he had to have listened to one of our shows. And you know what? I, will I don't give, know. Uh, well, I, I'm pretty Maybe. sure. I'm pretty sure because we love Amazon so much. <laughs> um, and so we got, I mean, this, this uh, I'll tell you. Doug, I have not read this at all, so I don't know if this is something that I'm going to be excited about or not, (laughs) but he spent a lot of time taking a book here, a Christmas Prime is what he calls it, and Blast Away, and he's got Jeff Bezos underneath a Christmas tree stealing packages. (laughs) This is very interesting. There's a nice... Doug was a fifth grade teacher. He wrote two hit games in the 80s, Chip Watts and King of Chicago, and he writes a sci-fi channel, Zilch... Hell's bet. So he is look at the very back of your uh, uh, deal there. So he's got a whole bunch of information around him. Doug, thank you very much for sending us the book. I will be reading this underneath the Christmas tree um, this evening. And, and if it's a great thumbs up, then I'll uh, tell you more. If it's not, then this will be the last time that I talked about it. But okay, thank you very much for sending us the package. Now, did you see? Did you see his cover? I did see his cover. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got he's, a hand with one finger. Off, he's flipping off something. He's flipping off Amazon shipping packages. There we go. I did see it. So I'm sure it's probably really... That's pretty er, cool, though, it, getting a gift. It was, you know... Thanks, it was, thanks for that gift. Yeah, so we will call out to him. All right, now, we were going to play a musical no. th- thing that we did at production. So we have our production meeting, and we said, you know what, it would be really cool to do a Saturday Night Live type skit, and we were going to talk about all of 2020. And as we started doing it, and then we re- we got it all done, we got it edited, yeah, and we that, re-listened to it in... It That's was gallows humor. It was it was depressing. <laughs> it was not uplifting at all. And then we want it to be an uplifting show. So this is a time that we're going to move right into Mike's mesmerizing moment, and we'll take a look at what you got to talk about. <laughs> this is Mike's mesmerizing moment. All right, so we're not going to play the song. No, so we're not going to. That's good. So we're going to kind of do it. You, you kind of did in that song, though, a 2020 kind of reveal. Yeah, the, well, the point that I was making, which turned out to be really bad when it came out on the song, was that. Really uh, dark. There's a lot. It was of, funnier yeah, than it's not, I mean, but it's we, dark. We look at, we look at the, the new year as a fresh start. Yes. And I call that a time anchor. We have a lot of time anchors in our lives, and time anchors are like birthdays, the holiday season. You can tell you can tell what what so the sociological uh, movements are going to be based on the time anchors, right? So when Halloween shows up on this in like mid December or mid September, we start seeing candy sales, right? People are getting ready for Halloween, and Halloween transitions to family time with Thanksgiving. Then we see. Thanksgiving transitioning into Christmas, which is all about what? Christmas is all about giving gifts and it's, making... It's all about... I mean, really, it's all about commercialism. Correct. Right? And then we have New Year's where it's this... Reboot. It's a relief effort, right? Right. We, we, we party, we get drunk, 
Yep. We talk about all the great stuff that's going to happen in 2021. Yep. Uh, and one of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of people kind of think that when the dial hits 12 midnight on December 31st, mm-hmm. that all this stuff that we've been dealing with is going to go away and we're going to start fresh. And that's not the case. We're, we still have to deal with this stuff. What, you, what you're starting fresh is and you have the opportunity to start a new outlook. You're going to get some relief because the holiday seasons are over. That's what New Year's is. It's this big relief the hol- because the holidays generate a lot of stress. They do. And I don't know I don't I don't know if we can compare what's going on now with 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 the the whole stuff that's been going on in 2020 if we can say that the holiday seasons are a stress relief or a, an additional stress. I think they bring some more stress personally. I well, I do if you participate in the way that we try to participate in every year because you know the the way it works is that we start getting marketed to very, very aggressively, and we feel all this pressure. I mean, I feel I feel all this pressure, too, to I need to get gifts for people. I need to do this, and COVID is making things difficult for for certain things to happen and activities that you usually do. So, you know. Well, I thank you for my gift, the, the brand-new Porsche that you put in the driveway. I, I appreciate that. Oh, anytime. That. Anytime, so, anytime so, that so, you want a brand-new Porsche, just let me know. <laughs> okay. That, that, <laughs> So anybody wants to send the Mike email, you can send it yeah. to Mike at TechTimeRadio dot com and ask for a new Porsche. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you'll get one next year. I, I don't yeah. promise. Okay, but that's that's the that's the point is that uh, look at it for what it is. It's a relief. New Year's is a relief. Start fresh, but don't think things are going to be changing. Okay, think that's of new advice. ways to deal with the change. Okay, that's a good that's a good part. And that is. Our Mike's mesmerizing moment of the day. So we are going to head to a commercial break, and then we will come on back. We got our pick of the day, and we got our chance to win our EKG portable device from Vivomi. So everybody Ooh. stay tuned for the winner of that. Skip and Sharon, hosts of the Psychic Spectrum Radio Show, are a prominent psychic couple. Besides hosting an exciting weekly radio show, they offer fans the Psychic Showcase and a fascinating Speakers Bureau. And their talking to the other side events are not to be missed. Join their live events and even schedule a private psychic reading. Get started at PsychicSpectrum.com. That's PsychicSpectrum.com. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data, right at your fingertips, brought to you by Vivomi's new Pulse Wearable. And with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. Whether you are exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or relaxing at home, check your EKG as simply as opening an app. The Pulse, a different kind of wearable. And you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service, knowledge, and the little things that make a big difference. Service. Selection. Advice. Community involvement. Competitive prices. Convenience. Located near you. And the things you need, such as... House keys. Lawn and garden. Plumbing. Electrical. Hardware. Grills. Outdoor living supplies. And even nuts and bolts. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Evergreen Way in Everett, Lake Stevens, and now Stanley. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum, and we are getting to the end of our show. Mike, thank you for that Mike's mesmerizing moment. I need you to choose a number between 1 and 511. That's how many people we have on our fan list right now. So choose a list, and then I will read an email off for someone that wants our Revolmi Post device. 256. 256. 256. <laughs> you can make this easy. No. So that Why is an that? R-E-S-T. So it's restart on, and then there's a number. I'm not going to say the number, <laughs> okay? But there's two digits for the number at gmail.com. Again, that's restart on two numbers at gmail.com. Just want our Vivomi device. Now, we are getting really close to ending our show. We need Whiskey to get pick. Their names. What do you think? I'm putting a thumbs down. I did not uh, like it. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. So we got split vote. Because as rye whiskeys go, I liked it. I'm not a big fan of rye whiskey, but okay. this one was pretty good tasting. Don't do the suck in the air thing. Don't do the suck in the air. Well, I am Nathan Mum, and this is Tech Time Radio. We're excited to be back with you next week. We got Mike Day, David Brown. Have a great holiday. Goodbye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm 
moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube. So check us out on youtube.com slash techtimeradio, all one word. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you. From all of us at Tech Time Radio, remember, mum's the word. Have a safe and fantastic week.